feel like an anthropologist. He's actually kind of fascinating. He's very regimented. He has to eat exactly at 7 a.m. Are you making powdered eggs? Yes, he likes them overcooked. Do you cut the crust off his toast too? No, just burn the edges and cut them into squares. So no triangles? Oh my God, it's 6.58. Oh my God. I told you, if he doesn't eat exactly at seven, then he's not gonna eat at all. Oh, there he is. Will you give him his breakfast? What, why me? I'm wearing my pajamas, Jane. I'm not hungry. But it's powdered eggs and burnt toast and freezer hash browns. You eat it then. I don't like prison food. I didn't either. But I got used to it. So eat your breakfast. No reason anymore. There was a reason in prison? You think I'm some sort of pathetic mobster. But inside, I'm still somebody in that prison. Well, life has given you another chance to be somebody other than some forgotten mobster. Now eat your damn breakfast and thank Mora for her trouble. Patrick Jr. was my only son. I was all he needed. Until that, that woman, that, that, that hope came along and, and changed things, turned him away from me. Well, that isn't Mora's fault. It's your fault I'm gonna die out here. Patty asked her to take you. He what? Hmm. He's punishing me. I wanted to stay where I was. I, 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 I told him I... He put me outside because he wants to see me die. Is a nobody. Maybe he put you out here so you could see the one good thing he's done. Mora. 